Uh, my job at NUS is the Vice President for Further Education. Um, NUS represents about 7 million students uh, in further and higher education across the UK and what a lot of people don't know is that actually two thirds of those um, students are in further education, the majority of our members are in FE. Um, so my job is to represent them nationally on all issues related to their education uh, and I've been elected um, by students in further education to do this job for two years. So our priority campaign um, uh, for the FE zone in NUS over the past year has been the Save VMA campaign. It's obviously been a, uh, an issue in the forefront of minds of students and a lot of other people in the sector actually. Um, and it was a really high profile campaign um, and it was probably quite a historic co campaign in the context of um, bringing together all sorts of different voices, um, college managers, governors, parents, lecturers, uh, we're all united under the banner of Save VMA. Um, uh, it's a campaign that's going to continue as well. Um, by no means uh, do we see the you know, £180 million concession as a win. We see it as progress, just not a win. Um, but that's not all we've been up to. Um, we've been running a campaign for uh, the last year called Vocation Nation. Where we've been working with sector partners to um, promote vocational education and um, you know, really kind of get to the heart of the academic vocational divide debates and um, really up the esteem of, of vocational learners and um, promote progression routes into higher education for um, uh, vocational learners and also kind of um, uh, quash some of the myths that exist around vocational education as well about it being a not an easy second rate option and those kind of things. Um, we've been working a lot with uh, other organisations on improving the teaching and learning experience in the classroom. We've done a lot with work with Bechter in the past on uh, improving the use of technology in the classroom and how we translate that into CPD for teachers and lecturers. So a load of things that affect students in the classroom but also on a national policy landscape as well. I think one of the ways that management information systems are, uh, are, are vital actually to um, students themselves, which isn't actually a link we make very often, is that um, NUS is made up of students' unions, which are democratic um, student-led organisations that exist within colleges and sixth forms. Um, and quite often what student leaders tell me is that they don't actually have, they don't actually have any idea who it is that they're supposed to be representing a lot of the time. Um, you are elected into a position in, at a college where you've got you know, thousands and thousands of students. So I think one of the things that would be really, really helpful is for um, a link to be made or a space that can exist in colleges where um, MIS staff can sit down with student leaders uh, within their institution, um, class reps, student union presidents, those kind of people, and um, just discuss the kind of demographic that exists within our institutions, how many people are on work-based learning courses, how many are 16 to 18, how many are over 19, uh, how many fall within minority groups, for example, because um, these, these, uh, these are uh, groups of individuals who, um, by and large, are underrepresented um, when it comes to um, student unions and things like that. Um, and that can really help and, help and support and shape our work as, as a student movement um, just by having access and talking through that kind of information.